My name is Simon Jackson and I'm a curator here at Tully House and I look after the natural science collections. The collection is data rich in its comprehensive coverage of the highly biodiverse county of Cumbria. And because of all this data, we can use it to conserve species. We can identify different populations, where they are, how they are changing, and how they are responding to land use change and the impacts of our own species. For example, red squirrels in the UK are threatened with extinction, with one of its greatest English strongholds in Cumbria. The collection can help us to identify distinct populations across the region and to see how they have changed over a matter of decades in the late 20th century. Taxidermy specimens have tremendous cultural, historical, educational and scientific value. In a museum display they can add a dash of awe and wonder and excitement to the visitor to help them to connect to the natural world. We have all sorts of different habitat scenes with different species in dynamic poses. But taxidermy has a much greater potential. In a time of rapid environmental change through climate change and habitat loss, I believe that taxidermy specimens and their dioramas will become more important than ever in terms of documenting what was once there. These habitat cases were created by former curator Ernest Blazard in the mid-20th century, and he based them on actual field observations on Cumbrian habitats. Now, some of these Cumbrian habitats and species are still there. Sadly, some are not. But these are a record of what was once there and what was lost so they are irreplaceable. We acquire specimens that fit our collecting policy, specifically those that are from the biodiverse region of Cumbria. They need to have good provenance data in terms of date and locality and collector information, and they need to have been collected ethically. For instance, we no longer kill specimens for taxidermy, and we acquire them already dead. The specimen is firstly prepared by a taxidermist, given a museum number, and then we go through the process of cataloguing it and making sure that we record all the dates, locality and collect information. This is recorded in a register, a museum database and handwritten on a specimen label. It is vital to make sure that the data is preserved along with the specimen, as this is what really gives it its historical and scientific value.